guys here. Bring him in. Morning, sir. Morning. Um, please sit down. So, I understand that you're new here, but I would still like you to work with one of our senior detectives, Mr. Anderson Volunteer. But it seems that he's late, as usual. It's alright, I can wait. Good. Sorry, I'm late. Again. Mr. Chang, I would like you to meet Mr. Anderson. Hey. So for the next two months, I would like you to work with him in whatever case I assign him to. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Good. I'll leave it up to you. And if you'll excuse me, I have some important business to attend to. Fun guys, eh? I'm Michael Anderson, by the way. You can call me Mike. Um, Brian Chan. Nice to meet you. Right. Let's give an introduction for now. Follow me. Uh, yeah. So, where are we off to? We've got ourselves a robbery, man. It's at this antique store. Near that coffee shop. Mm -hmm. They have good cheesecake. Never been there? No. Sure to get my daughter some. Hmm. Anyway, I just got the call earlier this morning that this guy kept rambling on about his stolen uh, golden watch or something. Mm -hmm. I think it was a family heirloom. Did the CCTV catch anything with that? The store didn't have any CCTVs to begin with. I think they were pretty committed about this whole antique thing. Mm. So anyway, enough about the case, man. Since we're going to be stuck together for the next two months, let's get to know each other. So, yeah. Mr. Chan, how did you get here? This job, I mean. Well, I, um... <clears throat> Sort of have the same job on the other side of the city, you know. Yeah. Wanted some change, so I moved here. Well, how long did you work there for? Around three years or so. So, you basically just got bored of a place after just three years? Well, what's wrong with wanting some change, huh? Well, nothing, man. Just messing around with you. Light enough of it. Right. Yeah. You got family? Uh, no. Just a girlfriend. We've been together for a year and a half now. She's great. That's nice. Mm. Happy for you. How about you? Well, I mentioned my daughter. She's 10. Free bike kid. <laughs> Probably would turn out brighter than her dad. <laughs> Do you have a wife? Ex-wife. Long story. Yeah. Sorry, don't mean to pry. Chill, man, it's fine. Well, see, like, wasn't this much more interesting than talking about some boring old case? Well, it is a case we're working on. Good point. Now that you two are here, you've got something big. A murder down at Roosevelt Street. It's related to the drug ring that has been happening this past few months. I've got some people walking around, and their descriptions fit the list of suspects, particularly this one. And the murder weapon? A gun. The forensics are still trying to find the specifics of the gun. I'll leave the rest with you two. I can't work with you on this one. Why? I got some stuff I need to do out of town. Uh, um, with the ex-wife. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah. Sorry, man. Right? No, I can work on this one. Okay, yeah. good luck.
thought you're out of town. Put down the gun and sit down, Brian. Let's calm things down here. Shut up. I saw what you did in the parking lot. You know what I mean. Look, you're not so innocent either, are you? I know what you did two years ago. Don't you think I was informed before I took you in? And you're not smart enough to realize that I was using you. What do you mean? Check your trunk. This isn't even mine. It's not mine. What a shame.